Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to break down the all-new Speedy XPD XP9R Road Race Boots. Okay, the Speedy XPD XP9R Road Race Boots. That's kind of a mouthful, isn't it? XPD is essentially the footwear arm of Speedy. If you look to our website, we're just going to refer to these as the Speedy XP9R Boots. Okay, These retail for $459.90 as of the time we're shooting this video. Please understand we don't update videos for pricing changes, only when the product itself has been completely redesigned. Before we dive in, let's talk about fit. These are a size 46 euro. Their size chart equates these to an 11 and a half US. I wear a 12 US in basically everything. My feet probably lean a little bit to the wide side. I got a really, really good fit from them. I would say that to me, this feels more like a 12 than it feels like an 11 and a half. And the boot has really good width to it. All right. Maybe even just a little bit wider than the Alpine Star Super Tech R. Who is this boot right for? This is a road race, track day, high performance sport riding boot that has an outer shell and an inner booty, which is where you're going to get your ankle stability and protection from. It's got an interlacing system. This is fully removable. This design is very similar to what we've seen from Alpine Stars for a number of years in the Super Tech R, which is one of our best selling and most favorite boots of all time. Another sizing note, and this is pretty important. I am able to, my calves, I would say my calves are probably just above average. They're not massive. I don't have cankles like Max does, right? I am able to get this all attached, no problem. The length of the strap and then this gasket at the top of the boot, right? When you look at those two things, and this gasket, it's got some, it's got some strength to it, okay? When you go to get, get this cinched up and you have your race suit on, for riders with bigger calves, you know you have trouble in that area. As of today, that boot is probably not going to be the best option for you because the strap here is just simply, it's just not long enough to accommodate riders with much larger calves. Speedy is currently considering adding some length to that strap. If in fact that does happen, we will update you all on that so that you know we have the best sizing information possible out there. Ventilated version is in the full white only colorway. The colors as of today are not perforated. Look to the pictures on the website and that'll give you a good indication of which one's ventilated, which one's not. Focusing now on the inner booty. We've got a speed lace system. I like what I see here. The quality all looks really good. You've got metal eyelets through there, right? This is like over the textile. This is some type of rubberized, you know, injected Material looks to be really strong. It was easy to use. There's plenty of lace length. You can wrap it around a couple of times when you do the boot up, no problem. We have some additional impact protection here, right, on the side of the foot around the arch area. For the ankle, you have your ankle stability and your ankle impact protection is all managed right here on the sides of this. This is also adjustable. If you see here, you've got a nice Velcro patch. You're able to undo this. Right, and kind of slide this back and forth, move it around. What I did is, you know, I put the booty on outside of the boot, and I kind of tried to get, you know, that portion of your bone that protrudes from the side of your ankle. Tried to get that so it was centered here. Okay, worked great for me. Took one second to do, and then just slid it inside the boot and left it. I did find after getting it adjusted the first time, there was no need to really pull this out of the boot. You could just leave it in there. There's some additional impact protection here around the arch. On the inside of this, just a little reinforcement here in the sole. And then, of course, you have your uh, your inner sole, right, for cushioning, is inside this. Focusing on the shell of the boot itself now, this is a nice, clean design on the inside. There's no external hinges, just like the Supertech R. Every rider is different. Every rear set is different, okay? Over the years, we've been doing this a long time now, some of the boots with external hinges, right, Every now and again, and it is really rare, but every now and again, 
we'll get a complaint from a customer. Oh, the hinge on the boot is it's catching on my rear set and it's really, it makes you nervous, right? When your foot's hung up and you're trying to switch position, it is super unbelievably rare, but we have heard it with most of the boots that we offer that have an external hinge at one point or another, okay? Very rare, I wanna stress that. Having a boot like this with a SuperTech R where that's completely clean, right? I think the Mag 1, I think from, uh, CD is that way too, where it's completely clean on the outside. That just avoids the possibility of that. Also makes the boot a little more aerodynamic because you have nothing going on on the outside. I guess if you're racing at the level of MotoGP, the aerodynamics of your foot would be more important than they are for the rest of us humans, but still the design does have its benefits. The materials and the quality of assembly here are, are excellent, right? They look absolutely fantastic. They feel great. When you have them on, give you a close look here at the sole. Reinforcement here in the heel. There are some vents built in. Motion bellow that is perforated. Lots of perforation in the boot. We have some external protection here. It's kind of like a rubber segmented patch here stitched on the outside of this. You know, at first glance, that looks like maybe it would help with zipping up. It's hard to say because it's really not a lot of pull there. I didn't have any trouble getting these zipped up myself. Motion bellow here in the front and that that itself does look like there is some ventilation in between that as well. Shifter pad you see it you know just to be symmetrical on the brake side of the boot. Protection up here in the shin area. Quick release. YKK zip. This is a good looking boot and it's a solid option for riders out there. The one area I just want to just once again just mention is if you know you're big in the calves as of today this probably is not going to be the best option for you. Outside of that if you'd say you're average in the calves and this is what you're looking for pull the trigger you'd be happy you did. This is a great pair of boots. If you have any questions leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself and I'm always here to help you choose the right gear for your next drive.